We have a return of temperatures above average, so another little taste of summer for us here in October. But good weather for those students heading back to school tomorrow morning. Nothing to worry about as far as Mother Nature is concerned. Today, we had a great day today. Lots of sunshine. That cold front moved through into the overnight hours this morning and now into tonight. It's been a really nice fall evening. So if you have the windows open, you probably could sleep with the windows open overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. We topped out at 79 degrees today, which is below the average of 82 and then we tar started out at 62 degrees. Now tonight we're going to be cooler than that. Already our temperatures have continued to cool their way on down. As you can see, Dallas the skyline there off in the distance sitting at 62 degrees. Our winds are out of the east northeast at five and that dew points in the mid 40s. So that's that dry air that's in place. You know that heats up and cools down pretty quick. So overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, if you do sleep with the windows open, you might need that little extra blanket. Now it's not going to be cold. It's going to be cool. We'll see 49 in Gainesville to 47 in Bridgeport, 50 in Denton to 54 in Dallas. I know I'll get some emails or some tweets saying that's cold for me, Scott. Well, yeah, it might be. And, you know, we love temperatures that are like nice and cool or crisp in the morning and then warming up nicely into the afternoon. We'll see that tomorrow back into the upper 70s. So kind of a repeat of what we saw today, a copy and paste kind of day. Lots of sunshine on the way. That all changes, though, going into Tuesday and Wednesday. However, what's also changed, and I can feel it, yeah, I have to say cedar and juniper back in the air for us as far as the pollen is concerned. Now, today it was in the low category. Already I can feel that change happening tomorrow back into the medium category and medium high going into Tuesday. Also, what's also increased the tropical activity. We have two areas that we're looking at. First one is Tropical Storm Gamma near the Yucatan. It's just going to meander its way around as we go through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, do a little loop-de-loop, -loop, then back out over parts of the central Gulf, but causing a lot of flooding in the Yucatan Peninsula. However, looking at Tropical Depression 26, this one's a little bit more of a concern right now it's south of Jamaica, but by the time we go into the end of the week, possibly making landfall as a category two hurricane, maybe almost a category three in the central Louisiana coast, maybe closer towards the Texas Louisiana border. So we'll keep our eyes on that. But this seven day forecast is keep your eyes on the sunglasses, have them in hand because temperatures warm up to near 90 all the way through the week going even through next weekend.